He's not in Washington, D.C. this morning. Roller, where are you? Texas, busy weekend. Spoke to the Fort Worth, Tarrant County, NAACP on Saturday. Yeah, how's Lorraine Miller? Yeah, yeah Lorraine Miller did, uh, invited me down for a great time, uh, encouraging young folks to prepare themselves to vote. Then jumped over to Dallas for the Both of Jean rally. You know, his birthday would have been, he would have been 27 years old on Saturday. Uh-huh. And so uh, I was attending the rally. I didn't know I was supposed to be moderating a panel. That was brand new to me. Thank you, Ben Crump. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ben Crump, Lee Merritt. We also live streamed it all on Roland Martin Unfiltered, so they can go to my YouTube channel to check it out. Then jumped over to the Prairie View Grambling game. Got to say it, PV, I love y'all, but Grambling won halftime. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you messy, man. You messy. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm factual. I'm factual. <laughs> saw, saw Joe Torrey there, and then we hit all of the Greek frat houses. Uh, State Senator Royce West, Ben, and Lee Merritt. Oh, man, we had a great time. Uh, and good to see Freddie Hayes yesterday at church. So I had a full weekend with all my Dallas peeps. Now I'm headed to L.A. I'm in New York tomorrow on Wednesday. So a crazy schedule, but it's and all may good. And I just say, Roland, and having broadcast from the Tom Joyner studio Friday for Roland Martin Unfiltered. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, oh, right there. That. Okay. And then you'll see my you'll see my James Prince interview right there from the studio as well uh, this week. So let's get down to business. Tom, there's an initiative on the ballot to restore the voting rights of the formerly incarcerated in Florida. One point five to one point seven million people are impacted. But uh, the uh, advancement project have they, they've got a new report out this morning. They're first talking about it right here on. Uh, the TJMS talking about how devastating uh, it has been. The executive director of the Advancement Project, Judith Brown, Diana, is joining us right now. Uh, and Judith, um, we hear that number 1.5 or 1.7 million folks who can't vote. Uh, but break down why you know what, what y'all have discovered to how major this is. Sure. Well, thanks for having me. Hello, everybody. So Advancement Project put out a report today called Democracy Disappeared. Uh, Basically, the law in Florida that doesn't allow people with felony convictions to vote has had a devastating impact on our communities because what has happened is that returning citizens, black returning citizens, are going back to neighborhoods where there's high poverty rates, low, uh, high unemployment. Um, And and this is like a, a... a chicken and an egg thing, right? Because people are coming back to these communities, but it's also because these people do not, these folks who have felony convictions cannot vote. They lack political voice. If you lack political voice, you cannot change the dynamics of your community. So what we did was we mapped where the black returning citizens are in the state of Florida, and we overlaid and show that actually poverty rates are higher, unemployment rates are higher, and this is devastating to our communities. If you think about it, you know, in Florida, there are um, black folks are two in ten Floridians, but they are four in ten of returning citizens. This is a law that we have to put in context. It was passed in 1868 with the with the intent to make sure that newly freed black folks could not vote. And so there's a you know there's a big change that we still on the book in November. It it is still on the books. They've made some changes here and there, but the bottom line is there's 1.6 million people in the state of Florida that cannot vote. There's 6.1 million people in the whole country. 1.6 million of them are sitting in the state of Florida. And Judith, when you talk about those laws, I think back to Virginia. Uh, when Governor Terry McCullough tried to uh, grant uh, voting rights to about 13,000 right. people at the same time, Republicans fought them. That law went back to 1902, where a state legislator right. said on the floor that they were passing the law to prevent the darkies from voting. Mm. That is right. That's right. See, well, that's why we have to know that these laws are clearly about us. <laughs> 
right? And that there are four states that continue to disenfranchise people for a lifetime. Florida is one of them. Virginia continues to be one of them because it's in their constitution. And so, but in Florida, we also have to know that it's not just that you can't vote, right? And if you can't vote, you can't, you don't have a voice in our political system, but it's also, it impacts jobs because if you cannot vote in the state of Florida, there are certain licenses you can't get, like barber's licenses, like licenses to be in nail shops, licenses to practice law. So one of the leading advocates of this in the state of Florida, Desmond Mead, is a person who has a felony conviction who is actually passed, got his law degree, you know, is ready to practice, but cannot practice because of this law. So it's not just that, you know, people are coming back and not able to um, not able to vote, but it impacts their real their life, their ability to change their community, their ability to change their family circumstances. And so, Tom, now that you can vote in Florida, uh, the Florida Right Restoration Coalition, uh, they have this initiative on the ballot in November, less than 40 days away, that they are trying to change the Florida state constitution. If it passes, it needs to have, first of all, at least 60 percent uh, of the folks voting. If it passes, that means the state constitution has changed. The governor can't come in and wipe this thing out. The legislature can right. do this. This this. This it's a change Florida for forever. <laughs> It'll change Florida for forever. We won't have to worry about 536 votes, right? This will be a big deal, and it will give people their voice back, their ability to change their communities, to have a say. And it will definitely change the criminal justice laws because part of what we're doing with the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition is that we're also building out branches of returning citizens so we can get them voting. I know a lot of people are concentrating on the offices, but how do you feel you're doing in terms of support for this? Well, I think um, I think that this is gonna it's gonna happen. You know, um, both at the you know we've got a governor election in Florida with Andrew Gillum, and we have this amendment. So you know, both things the synergy between them, black folks turning out. If we turn out, we're gonna change Florida. All right. Last polling number is about seventy percent. Last wow. polling about seventy percent, but That's they're great. not banking on that. Right. Got to get folks to vote. Judith Brown, Diana, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Good Thank luck you. with that.